Hello, and welcome to lesson five, uh, utilizing red eye correction and utilizing brightening an image using curves. I'm your instructor, Vladimir Peransky, and let's get started by launching Photoshop. Let me go ahead and launch Photoshop. And there it is. When Photoshop launches, we're gonna navigate us our, our uh, I'm going to navigate to the directory that contains our lesson plans and lesson files, and we're going to open the file that we need to fix, which is of this young lady. We're going to go ahead and zoom into her eyes. We are going to find the red eye correction tool, and it's hidden underneath your healing brushes. There's your healing brushes, and there's the red eye correction tool. So right now I'm going to set the pupil size to 10 and the darkening. I'm going to leave it at 16. Let's see what happens. I'm going to click right on the eye. And these numbers are basically a trial and error. You got to try it and see if it works for you. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, you try different numbers. This particular at 10 and 60 worked pretty good for me. Or you can use the book numbers that they tell you. But remember, in real life, you would have to get those numbers on your own. Nobody's going to tell you those numbers. So now that the eyes are fixed, you can zoom out and see how she looks with uh, removing their red eyes. The red eyes are formed because of the flash uh, reflecting off the retina of the eye and causing it to look red. So we got rid of the red eye, but now we have to do something new to the image, which is adjust the level. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on adjustments. I'm going to click on curves and I'm going to use the white balance adjustment. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna use the white balance adjust. I'm just gonna click on auto. And auto will adjust the curves for me automatically. What I'm gonna do is play with the line. Notice if we adjust too much, notice how the white destroys some of the fine detail in her face, especially here on her cheeks and on her nose. So let's go ahead and go ahead and minimize that. And now you can see that the details, when I'm minimizing the curve, you'll notice the details are coming back of her cheeks, of her shading on her nose, her forehead, and such. Anyway, um, that's all there is to red eye correction and minimize and actually playing with curves to lighten up the image. When you do play with curves, you'll notice if you look on the, your layers, you'll notice curves is applied to the image. If you want to change it again, double click, and you can change the curves again by clicking on auto, right? And you can resize and reposition this line depending on your particular needs. Right now we're doing RGB, red, green, and blue at the same time. We can change the curves just for the red. See, this is just the red and you'll see the, the curve is red. We can change it just to the green increasing the green, decreasing the, cre the green, and we can change it, of course, for the blue. Notice how our colors change. And there is all our curves that we can change, or all of them at the same time by clicking Auto. And she's a little dark, so I'm just, I usually like the image a little bit lighter. Thank you very much for joining me and see you on the next lesson of chapter five.